Welcome, everybody. We're going to have a great day here. You ready to go, Penny? I am. All right, we're going to do a little pre-show banter for about 10 minutes and make sure all of our sound is, is doing well and everybody's in you know, the right spot. So uh, take it away, Penny. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Guys, Penny. how's it going? Great. We're Good. Good. Good morning. How are you feeling? Good. Cool. Did you Wrap get some sleep? Yeah, did you? A little bit. It's hard to sleep. I read the Twitter feed till I, my eyes closed. So <laughs> it's kind of uh, a lot of great energy out there, you know? I feel a little naked, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Exposed. Uh, OK, so uh, this is just banter, right? So you're I don't know what I mean. You're I just feel like everybody's yeah. watching me no, here. No, 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 you're kind of here. <laughs> we're just watching getting mic stuff. checks, and we're <laughs> kind of we're like, I'm not, I don't need we're to good. be on right now. These people are hearing me, we're but good. this is cool, right? Yeah. Uh, Oh, I thought I gave I don't want to blow what I'm going to say <laughs> in a little oh, bit, so uh, I'm going to check in with I'll, I'll Karen real quick, one. okay? Right. Actually, I shouldn't even check in with her. Let's just talk about, okay, we went to, we all went to this uh, potluck last night. That was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. The local food community here. Yep. Amazing. Oh, and you're mic I'm glad you I'm going to break out some <laughs> we, need, we, we need a plug you know for the what? person who threw the party. Seattle Bon Vivant. Yeah. Yeah. She was fabulous yeah. Person. Amazing. Was Amazing. Awesome. She was awesome. You know what I thought one was, was one of the sweetest responses that I got from someone on, uh, I had, first of all, I had like umpteen friends like email me. Uh, and all of them, the people that know me really well were like, oh my God, I love the people you picked. They are amazing. Oh, awesome. They really You're felt so like nice. you guys were uh, so there with me, you know, and really like your questions were sincere and from a really good place. And um, that was cool. I thought that said so much. Yeah, so really thanks to you guys, because wow. oh, really? you guys met me yeah. too. So. You were always so nice. I'm not. So nice. Today I'm not going to be nice. <laughs> That's okay. Tomorrow I'm really not going to be nice. We Tomorrow we'll freak out. Nice. You're nice. <laughs> You're nice. Nico, you ready for you to get this presentation from me? Yeah. We're here to learn. No. All right, no? well. What's he going to do? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so we're bantering. Tell us about Honduras. Okay, so Honduras. This time last week I was sweating like a mad woman, f trekking with these women, uh, these amazing women who harvest, um, they plant and harvest in the fields <clears throat> right next to where a certain uh, huge American conglomerate farms the land, so they're fighting against that. Um, you know, and they hike up for like a mile with these machetes, and that's their job. Like, that's how they feed their families and survive. And so I'm hiking up there, me and the rider and a fixer. It's insanely hot there. I was like, oh my god. And so, you know, they're in flip-flops, because it's crazy hot. Of course, I'm like, I have my pants rolled up to here, and I wasn't it wasn't ha it wasn't a good thing. Uh, it wouldn't have been a great assignment photo for Penny. <laughs> so we're hiking up there. We get to where they're starting to work the land, and that's where the photo was. I don't think I don't know that that picture will ever see the light, light of day. But it was this really interesting moment uh, where the women were like kind of standing there with their machetes, you know, and I could see the mountains behind them and just the raw dirt, and they were just like, uh, you know, just really tough. Uh, that's what I was doing this time last week. <laughs> and now I'm looking at you guys with cameras and this beautiful light. So you kind of have your machetes. Hold our cameras yeah. in the same way. Yeah. Oh, really soft. Nice you know what was crazy, though? Uh, when I was in Honduras, uh, so the day before when I was shooting in the, the village with these ladies, there was a, a, a semi that was carrying, uh, not a semi, like a small farm truck that was carrying some cattle. And it, ha it, it had crashed and rolled over. And the men were seriously hurt. I was shooting in the village, so of course I didn't know about this, but my driver was driving past it at that time. Like, he didn't see the accident, but he went past like 20 minutes after. And so he actually took the guys to the local clinic. Because uh, I was like, where are you, dude? <laughs> and he was like helping these people, and I was like, oh my god. But apparently the cattle had died in the crash, you know? And so the local people in the village literally came out with their knives and started harvesting the meat. I mean, that's what you do. Um, which was kind of amazing. I mean, it's kind of an intense story. But uh, so we went, I mean, where those ladies worked the land is close to where that accident happened. So we actually went to that site. And had I, anyway, so I saw it. And like, there was nothing left of that, uh, the cows. I was just like, it was kind of amazing, you know? 
Like you really resourceful, you do what you got to do. Protein like that is not something they come across regularly. It's really expensive, so. They responded. Yep. It was pretty, uh, I'd never seen that, <clears throat> so. Those aren't always good. Can you, can you say what the assignment was? Like what yeah, it was, uh, it was on, um, it was a story on one of the nine ethnic groups in Honduras, the Garifuna um, group of people. So they're all West African immigrants. I can't, it's like 1600, I'm not sure the exact year, but they were all on a ship in the slave trade with Spaniards, and that ship sank. And the Spaniards didn't swim, and so they didn't survive. But all the, all the uh, people, and I think it was from Ivory Coast, that they were taking with them all swam to the island of St. Thomas, I think. I'm not, don't quote me on that. An island, I can't remember exactly. And they lived there, the Garifuna people, for 250 years. And then the British came in, the English came in, and wanted to use that land for plant, uh, plantations. And they were gonna, you know, have them work their plantations, and they're like, "No way, dude!" So they left, and they actually fled to all over Central America, parts of South America. And so this ethnic group is huge. It's huge in this country. There's um, a large population in Houston and New York, I think LA. So they cook with a lot of West African influence in their food, which is that's what I love about food. Is you see that history, mm -hmm. you know, come across. That's just cool, you know, from a visual standpoint. You know, to to see those traditions carry on. You know. Okay. Uh, this feels kind of serious already, and today I just wanted to make pictures. I mean. Yeah. Um, I think we should all sing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think you should start us. How are we doing, Celeste? We'll just do a rabbit. Kumbaya. Five minutes. Everyone. Kumbaya. <laughs> can I yeah. hang this up somewhere so every so these guys can see it, so I can see it, so the audience can see it? One more of these. Guys. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, just enough so that we can reference it, because I want to drill those words into their heads. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, that's looking good. Those blood oranges. I feel really intimidated because I have a small camera. That's adorable. It is. It's cool looking, like, isn't it? You're adorable. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> the camera. It's, like, it's the no camera. machete. That's like no calling machete, a motorcycle but... cute. It's a cute motorcycle. Cute. <laughs> that's really sweet. And I took it and I put it on the animal. So. so today, I probably, honestly, I'm just going to try to work. I'm going to do what I do. Um, and so I might not engage with you as much. But if you have questions, I want you to feel free to just ask them and interrupt me. Um, but I really want to simulate this idea that we're, I'm in a shoot. So, um, because a lot of people have never been in a shoot like this. And so I want them to see that. Um, and there's no reason you can't do an interpretation of this in your own kitchen or uh, living room or alleyway or wherever, you know. <clears throat> you just need a nice window. That's it. And we can shoot you while you're working and stuff. But they told us not to take beauty shots of the food until you're done. Yeah, I want you guys to wait until the until this afternoon, if that's okay, because I really want you to focus on um, the process and think about how I'm approaching it. Um, I just want you to watch. I want you to practice your seeing. Yeah. So, I think it's important for you guys just to watch. Okay. Um, and then this afternoon, you'll have a chance to shoot. I'm going to give you two. If we have time, I'm going to give you two sets that we're going to recreate. And I'm not sure how we're going to approach it. Like if everybody just takes it takes it on, or if a couple of you or whatever. Uh, I kind of just want to see how this manifests, and then we'll go from there. But um, <clears throat> so I just I want to make sure that I'm not ignoring you, but I want to just be in this in this game and try to really uh, you know do a do a shoot. So so holler at me whatever you need. Is this a better time for us to put down our cameras and have our notebooks? <clears throat> Maybe it might just I be mean, a better if, time if for you, you don't to want us to yeah. shoot. Should, can we, should we you can shoot, down? you can shoot, but I just don't oh. want you to, um, I don't want you to miss the opportunity to just watch. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I think there's, a, there's so much to Priceless, be yeah. seen in, in, in just looking, you Very know. Cool. Um, I don't know, that's how I learn. Okay. So I just want to encourage you to do that, but you're your own, you're your own boss, so you okay. got to do what you got to do. Okay. Just, just be aware that when we're on set, you, you know, you don't want to come across any of, the, any of the reflectors or fills that we have. Just be really sensitive to that. I'm not sure what Celeste told you, so whatever she said goes. <laughs> She's really the boss. <laughs> um,
Is the, is the countdown timer we at zero yet? One minute, okay. Be witty for one minute and 18 seconds. I'm really oh. bad at being witty. Dude, there were so many tweets. There I were know. A lot. Oh, I know. It was just, uh, did you read? There were like, uh, I mean, there were dozens of blog posts out there. Oh, I only oh, read yeah. one. I yeah. fell asleep and I wanted to try to read more. Really, there were dozens? Oh, yeah. Well, the, so the email that went out, so the email that went out, you, which you, you have no reason to read, but everyone else out there, there is at the bottom of the email in the PS. There's like a ton of uh, a blog posts that people have written about this. Things really? That, oh, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. There's been a huge amount of photos submitted. I mean, it's just been really oh, cool. Oh, cool. We got for the second assignment? And actually, you're going to love this. So you're, we're actually going to show you a, pic a couple pictures up here in a moment of what some environments people are watching from home look like. No way. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then this is actually kind of the cool thing. So, what does a worldwide classroom look like? And I just wanted to show you a couple photos I pulled off of our Flickr pool. We've got a Flickr pool. Um, groups, it's a CL audience pool, and you can see what it looks like around the world. People are watching you from their den from all over the place. You know, there's someone having... What are they eating? <laughs> is that sushi? Do you know where that it's, is? I, I don't know. I, it, I think you could figure out on the page. Whole point is we really invite people, if you're watching and enjoying this, post <laughs> images to that Flickr pool. Um, there's, some, there's someone in their room. And it's just really cool being That's able to see cool. the different environments around the world. There's a ton <laughs> of photos up there from people who were watching the Zach Arias workshop two weeks ago. Um, this is a great place to be able to post your images during this. We just, it gives us a real sense awesome. of scope of what's happening out there. Someone um, needs to do that like in a bathroom or something. <laughs> like a scene in a, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Humor, you know? All right. And folks, one last big call out to BNH <laughs> video, uh, uh, photo video. They are a huge supporter of Creative Live. This place would not be possible without them. There, is, there are so many moving pieces here, <laughs> and BNH is a huge supporter of what we're doing here. So. I heart BNH. Yeah, we all heart BNH. We heart BNH. We should make t shirts.